Yeah, essentially. I mean, it's a conference game. And, you know, we, we wish we would have came out and, you know, pay attention to detail a little better and execute a little better. But a win is a win. And in conference, that's really all that matters, you know, regardless of the margin. So we got the job done tonight. For us, yeah, uh, yeah, I would say so. Um, just you know, be aggressive. You know, coaches, you know, Nico's the Nico isms is love the paint and like the three. <laughs> so uh, we were shooting a little bit too much, settling settling a little bit too much early in the shot clock. So we just wanted to earn our baskets, and you know, going down in the low post was, you know, was open. So we just try to use that to our advantage. Yeah, definitely. Like It's tough, you know, those those kind of teams are always unpredictable a little bit. So I think those kind of games just take a lot of emotional toughness to like, you know, if they hit a tough shot, because, you know, Mashburn, you know, 0, 13, and uh, 10, all of them, you know, made tough shots. So at that point, you just got to contest. And if they hit a tough shot, let it go and move on, make the next play. So. Tyler, when you come off the bench, what is your initial mindset after watching these yeah. first six games? Just be aggressive and bring some energy. You know, I think that coming off the bench, that's a luxury that you have. You can kind of see where the starters, you know, or needs need a little energy boost or whatever, and I think that's my role and one that I really enjoy, just coming in and, and doing what I can, really, really as rebounding, you know, tagging the paint, making plays for others, just doing what I can. Do you like the fact that you've had another like, hockey game, like an army game? Yeah. Before you come in? yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's weird. I think that, you know, after being the starter for so long, coming off the bench again was, was a different, you know, adjustment, but it's one that I've really, really loved and, you know, and I, I really enjoy my role, so I appreciate it. I think it's just knowing your personnel. Uh, again, like Chandler said, just the attention to detail wasn't, you know, spot on like it usually is. So, yeah. uh, you know, we just got to work on that. You know, coming with Air Force because I mean, it's a it's a whole new world with Air Force. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's you know a huge you know factor to the game. So, understanding personnel and, and probably just running them off the line and you know accepting a mid range pull up or if they want to finish in the rack zone they. They can, they can. I mean, DT is going to wall up or something like that. So uh, they just can't get threes off. So you know, we'll just you know have that in you know the back of our head the next time we prepare for them. Oh man, everything really. Uh, a bunch of energy. Uh, you know, he's he's an outgoing guy. He's I mean, off the court, he's a, he's an amazing human being. So uh, and on the court, he brings a lot of energy as well. You know, he first thing he he told me was I love rebounding. So I was like, man, that's that's <laughs> that's, that's crazy to 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 hear. So uh, man, I love it. So uh, you know, he he got his double double tonight, which I'm super <laughs> proud of him for. Uh, he's been talking Appreciate about it for a while. So I mean, it's it's just should have happened in due time. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just, I was so happy, I man. I was just like, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. What has been your biggest adjustment going from starter yeah. to a reserve role? I think, uh, you know, my prior years, I wasn't super efficient in terms of the opportunities I had to attack, you know, because I had like a plethora of them. So it was like, whether I got it, I could take as many dribbles as I wanted, I could do it, whatever I wanted, you know. But playing with better players and playing in a more, um, this, I guess the most structured offense, I would say, is one of those things where you get there's a better shot available. You know, I feel like I'm my old school. I made shots, but I also took tough shots. And I think that now it's just about taking the shot that's good, um, for good for the team and not just for yourself. That's crazy. Man, it was it was crazy. Um, I didn't really notice it until I got subbed out because um, you know we were facing the opposite way, but like they just filled up that entire side section. I was like, oh my god, it was, yeah, like, that was ridiculous. I was, it was it was more than than CU, you know, my freshman year, which is crazy. Uh, and man, it's just a testament to you know just the students. I mean, they've been awesome. Um, you know, just showing up all the time, even in Christmas break and everything. And, and hopefully, I mean, we have a a huge stretch here uh, of important home games. So hopefully they can come and, and also, you know, go down, you know, go up north as well. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.